So what's up, YouTube and everybody? Um, why don't we kind of do some fun facts about me? Oh boy. I thought that was a that was a good little touch here at the beginning. So Hunter, when I do a fun fact, I want to know your opinion and what you think. But it's just gonna be about us. You ready? Cause we're family. You ready? All right. All right. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna start it right over, right where we began. I choose pie over cake. Fun fact. What about you guys? Pie, pie over cake. Pie over cake. Hmm. I like pie. I also I also like pie over cake. I feel like yeah. I don't know. To me, I feel like just pie is just it's so much softer or something. Like I, I agree. There is one cake that I could <laughs> almost choose over a lot, and that's that, that molten cake or whatever, like the devil's. Oh, like lava cake, kind of. Yes, yes. Like when you, it's like chocolate, and then there's like chocolate inside of it and it's just like yes that is, that's a tough one to beat however you put that shit on top of a pie it, it's game over oh, pineapple, uh, pineapple upside down cake i don't even know I, yeah i don't man Nah, that shit's good i do like that nah, you know how i am if it's dessert for me it's got to be some sort of chocolate i can't do fruit unless fruit. unless it's cherry pie or whatever your mom, uh, grandma made that one time. That shit was fucking delicious, uh, Alex. She made that. It was a cheesecake. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. Yeah. That. Write that down. Write that down. For at your wedding. That's it. I just all me. All mine. One pie. All mine. <laughs> or cheesecake. All mine. <laughs> one strawberry Char cheesecake. <laughs> that shit was. Uh, I don't uh, like cheese. Hey, yo, cheesecake. let me tell you. Everybody, right now, I do not like cheesecake, but her grandma's cheesecake was like. <laughs> All right, let's let's think of another fun fact. Let's think of this like random shit here. Uh. Just look up. Just look up. Um. Kind of would you rather's, but like cake versus pie, or. You know how many screens Burger I got up right now? Pizza. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Hunter? Okay, what about what Burger about pizza? Which one would you rather have? Yeah, Alex was talking. You gotta say that one more time. Pizza versus burgers. Burgers. There's no doubt yeah. about that for me. That, that was... Burgers. Because, like, you can make a pizza burger, so, like... Really Alex, what about you? And I'm, go I'm, I'm gonna be the odd one out here. I like pizza way more than I like... But see, here's the problem. You don't have variety with pizza. You fucking like cheese and chicken on your pizza. I know. With a fucking burger, you can literally just... There's endless toppings. I know. You're a weirdo, dude. You're fucked up. <laughs> You're fucked up. Alright, 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 alright. Um, like, hard candy or, or soft candy? Doesn't matter what candy, but hard or soft. Like, would you rather take a Lifesaver or, like, a Reese? You know, like, hard or soft. Doesn't matter. <sighs> Definitely like a Reese. I don't like hard candy. What about you, Hunter? Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Like gummy, like a gummy or or a hard one. So like you got hard tack, you got um I would even consider taffy kind of hard, honestly. Yeah, oh. I'd say taffy's. Candy. But yeah, but like hard or soft? Hard hard. Really? Oh, that's weird. I'm soft. Uh, yeah. Like I I I like I like I don't know, I just... You like sucking on things? My, no, it just binds my teeth. You like, you like sucking on things? Let's be Jesus. honest. Jesus. Alright, Alex, you gotta make one up now, because... Um... Uh, white chocolate or dark chocolate? Dark. <laughs> Instantly dark. I love dark Reese's. That shit's killer. Oh no! I even like special dark chocolate Hershey's. What was no. it? Uh, white chocolate or dark? Hmm. I don't know. I like both, honestly. I, honestly, I, I'm the same way, Hunter. I pretty well like both. Nah, not for me. Like I, I could eat like some white chocolate, but when you're when I'm dealing it's, with fucking Hershey special dark, nah, not a chance. I just need to try the new uh, candy bar. It's called a Pebbles. Uh, 
Is it white chocolate? Pebbles white chocolate? It's a white chocolate candy bar with pebbles in it. I have deodorant in here, guys, because I get nice and sweaty. Fun fact. <laughs> like pretty pebbles. You know, Trix came back out with the, um, the shapes for a little bit there. Wonder how long the shapes will last. They better last forever. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, let's see. We're, we're always doing food related. Let's do something crazy. Like, uh, okay, I know what Alex is going to be on this one. Uh, would you rather live in the mountains or on the beach? Mountains. I always say Alex is probably the beach. She's a, yep. a fucking loser. Mountains. Let's go, Hunter. Mountains. Fucking mountain men. Love the mountains. There's just snowboarding in the mountains. What are you going to do in the fucking beach? You know, like, wakeboard and stuff? But, like, fuck that. There's sharks. Fuck There's sharks. Exactly. Fuck the sharks, bro. Sharks don't come on land to kill me. That means I have to fucking, you know. I'm afraid of drowning, so. My, hey, fun fact. This is like a fun fact before Ethan gets on everybody, so we're just relaxing. Um, I got a fun fact about me. My number one fear is actually water. Yeah, I'm afraid of drowning. And, and let me just put this image in your head for a second. It's not that I'm afraid of drowning. It's Let's say you're out on a boat. Let's say you either run out of gas or some crazy shit happens in the middle of the ocean and it's dark. Bro, you're not, you can't tell me you know what the fuck's underneath you right now. You don't even know, like, in the daytime what's underneath you, let alone dark. Brother, it could be, like, a whole-ass fucking mega, mega shark mega underneath you. Mega shark. Yeah. I'd be some cozy. Shit. No, I don't fucking know. That's what I'm saying, man. I just, I can't, I can't yeah. do the fun fact about rather... me is I'm just, I'm afraid of fucking the ocean. I'm afraid of what's underneath. Yeah, dude, you'd be out there fucking mega shirt just bah. You'd be like, oh shit. I would just like to live on the beach because it's usually statistically a lot warmer. Nah, tsunamis. Fuck it. I don't want no fucking tsunamis up in that shit. Fucking floods, tsunamis. Throwing thunderstorms. Crazy I feel people. like I feel I feel like you guys don't want to live on the beach only because of the water, like tsunamis, like that. I mean, that's scary, but that I feel like right, you're a little say, terrified. Hey, hold, up, hold up, man, hold up. I said, well, I said okay, crazy people. Look at Ocean City last year. Yeah. Ocean City's like that all the fucking time. Well, it's still a fucking beach. Well, you don't think that that shit that will happen in Miami, one of the most trafficked places on Earth, besides over in. The UK. Ohio is actually one of the. Just the state of Ohio for some reason. Yeah, but Miami's huge for that. Yeah, I know. I right, fuck that. That's like that's like when we went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We didn't know that was like the number one area for rape. That shit was that yep. shit wild, bro. I would never imagine. But maybe no, I I'd, I've ever... I'd say. It was probably over because, you know, there's so much, like, bars and shit there, too. That's... Yeah. Yeah. I think that's probably what it was. That's fucked up. I don't know who's on my stream, but we're just waiting for um, Ethan to pop in here. We're going to start talking about some music. But right now, we're just doing some fun facts and just chatting a little bit. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So me and Hunter rather live in the mountains. You rather live on a fucking crabby beach. Got you. All right. <laughs> I know that snowboard dude. That'd be. Yeah, you gotta think about what's on the what's on the beach. That shit gets hot as fuck, man. I'd rather be yeah, able I'd to rather... put clothes on and take clothes off because you can only go so fucking. What if your air conditioning breaks and shit? Fuck. You're fucked, bro. <laughs> Looks like you get naked. And there's the man of the hour. What's good? What's good, Ethan? Hey, let's ask him real quick the fun facts. Okay. Ethan. Uh, what? Pie or cake? What would you rather eat? Uh, Pie or cake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
That's a tough one. It is tough, but like, I don't know, man. I, I'm a pie guy. That's just me. I'm a pie guy. I think I, I'd have to go with a pie on this one. Cause yeah, we, we're all in just, agreement there. It's just, I don't know. Pie is just... It's so, like... A, a lot of my favorite... Just... Yeah. One of my favorite flavors are Good pies. I, I, mm. We were just doing some fun facts oh, before you got on. I said like like a lava like a molten, one of molten lava cakes so like that'd be the only one I might choose over a pie once in a while. But then you put that shit on top of a pie. Oh my god! Oh, I'd, the only the only thing I'd choose over a pie would be a lemon cake. Wow, that's okay. That's let's fair. move on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just told these guys. I said the the number one thing for me if it's dessert, it's gotta have some kind of chocolate or sweets. I can't do like fruits and I just mean uh, I. I Got a little sugar. I gotta have fruit. I gotta have fruit of mine. Well, I mean, you are a fruit loop, so. <laughs> Ma- mountains, mountains, or the beach? Like, where would you rather like move to? Beach. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. I figured. yeah. Uh, mountains is where it's at, though. I do. Okay, I will admit, the only place I I love to live that's mountains would be Alaska. I knew you were gonna say that. Have you been in Tennessee yet? Yeah, I've been through there. Tennessee like, would be my exception to the no mountains rule. Uh, Tennessee has great mountains and all, but but I, Alaska it just hits different. <laughs> I I would live in Alaska, and I don't have to even go there. Uh, my sister's ex boyfriend lives up there and posts pictures, so I'm like, yep. Ah, he just yeah. shot a big ass moose not too long ago. <laughs> you see the moose dick? Yeah, the moose dick. Oh my god. Uh, what else do we do? What else do we? Oh, hard candy or soft candy? Like it doesn't matter what kind of candy, just hard or soft. Would you rather take a like a lifesaver or Reese's? The best way I described it. I said like I gotta do soft candy because I I don't know I'm not a big yeah like, hard candy. I have to go soft. Cause, I mean I like lifesavers and all that, but I don't know. We even I really like taffy kind of hard because like I was thinking like saltwater taffy. That shit's hard as fuck, but it's good. Yeah, like, it's good. Yeah, it but I just don't like shit oh, like yeah. that getting stuck in my teeth all the time. Like I mean Reese's, yeah. I guess could get stuck to your teeth technically, but I don't know. Fucking top your mouth. Oh, and then and then fucking Hunter actually had a pretty decent one. Burgers or pizza? Burgers. Burgers. Yes. Yeah, I'm the only one that said. Pizza. <laughs> Weirdo. Dude, I'd, I'd rather do like burger and fries than a pizza, yo. Oh, actually, no. Hold on one second. I'm going to ask Megan too because I, I don't remember more oh, of a boy. pizza or burger. I just said, I just feel like you have more more option with a, a burger. Tomato, yeah. lettuce, you want ketchup, you want mustard, you want, you want fucking barbecue sauce, you want motherfucking onion rings on that bitch. Like, come on. Yeah, Alex is the only Megan. one who's pizza. Mm. Megan what said the hell? Too. All right, everyone. So let's get on with this podcast. So what we're going to do today is uh, I have a, a small list. I hope everyone has a, a little bit of a list or can just think off I can, top I can. I was going to say, I'm just going to think of ones off the top of my head. But we're going to play a little game today. We are definitely playing a game. And you guys can chime in anytime you want to on Twitch. Um, you guys, all you have to say is, you know, you can even give us a band if you want. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to pick some bands out. And we're going to talk if they're overrated or underrated and why. And as I was thinking of this today, I was thinking, you know what? Let's even go deeper into this. And let's do overrated and underrated for their time zone. So, like, in 2020, are they overrated or underrated? But then let's go back to when they were, you know, out. When they first like back when they hit, when they hit, yeah, yeah, back in the prime, was it overrated or underrated? So that one's gonna be a little tougher because some of the bands I know is like uh, was before me, but (laughs) you know, yeah, same. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go hard with this one. So uh, I got my list right here. Um, doesn't matter um, who wants to start. Let me um fix. Let's. Uh, can we do like the same? Like, can we rotate around the same people? Like, the same at every band. So, like, if Hunter goes first for the first band, can he just get like like for all of them? You know what I mean. So that we're not trying to talk over each other. Oh, you mean like uh when we talk? 
Yeah, yeah. Like when we're de- de- debating on who who's underrated and overrated, like have Hunter go first, and then have like, yeah, yeah, Ethan yeah. go first. We can do and... we can do it in order of the Discord. Hunter, Alex, me, and and Ethan. It'd just be easier to look over. But I I'm not yeah. opposed to that. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, Hunter. Do you have a band? I mean, I know you're kind of new to this. Like okay, you were cut out there. Oh, am I good now? Oh. It, now you're okay. Cool. Starting off with a good one. Wait, who was Lincoln it? Park. Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. Oh, that is a good one. Let me make this list down here. On the radio, I love Lincoln Park. All right, Lincoln Park. All right. Well, since you uh, picked first, Alex, you get to um, you get to talk. I get to go first. Yep. Okay. I think, I think Lincoln Park, when they first hit and now have been one of the most underrated bands out there only because of their content like what what they put out like i guess the the lyrics like i don't know their songs were ahead of their time i think yeah i can see what you mean by that like i feel like people didn't take their lyrics serious like that seriously back then and i still don't feel like they're taking them that seriously (laughs) yeah fuck them I guess I'm up next. I I have to agree with that 100%. I feel like they were always been underrated. Always have been underrated. Like even even like uh, in the movies, like some of the because there's a lot of Linkin Park songs in a, a lot of different movies. Believe it or not. Yes. Yes. And mm-hmm. I just feel like they've always been underrated. Like fucking uh... now and then. Uh, Fast and Furious. So, uh, now they did have a big fan base back then. They probably had a bigger fan base back then than they do now. But I agree with that. But just to be considered, yeah, I say one hundred percent underrated. All right, Ethan, you're up. Oh, this is tough because I don't like Lincoln Park. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good. I like having you know different opinions. I mean, that's that's the point. I. I don't know. There, one of my okay. I, I know this is kind of rude, but when Chester died, it seemed like everyone talked about him, but Chris Cornell died bef- like a month before him, and barely anyone talked about Chris Cornell dying. Well, I feel but like show- I feel like that has something to do with the fact that like not everybody knew who chris cornell was but it seemed like everyone had heard of lincoln park to say the least like yeah i'll give i'll give lincoln park the respect like they are good like in between genre yeah. okay thing. yeah like they introduced a lot of pop people like people who listen to pop music to metal music oh yeah yeah and that's kind of hard to do <laughs> I, I i don't know i, I just think they're kind of overrated in my opinion uh, just okay. i don't know their music just doesn't sound that great. It's not like, oh my god, this is amazing music to me. So. Oh yeah, yeah, to I be, see what you mean. Fair, to be fair, I'm a huge Linkin Park fan. I don't necessarily think their music, like, is, I'm not like, oh my god, this is like the best song I've ever heard. I listen to Linkin Park when I can relate to Linkin Park. So when you're sad, depressed? When I'm depressed, I blast <laughs> Linkin Park. Well, no, it's true, because I, I, I don't know what it is, but... It just, it's like someone, I don't know, someone understands me, I guess. When you, when you lost your puppy and you just want to cry. Yes, yes. But just blast some Lincoln Park, it'll make you feel better. <laughs> make you feel better or want to commit suicide, one of the two. <laughs> yeah. Uh... That sounds like a dick, but I'm just being honest here. Not me. Uh, oh, I guess it's my turn. Oh, there this one's not even on my list. And I'm going to say it just because Lincoln Park was brought up. Oh, boy. Nickelback. Oh, oh. this will be a good one. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I threw up in my mouth. God damn, why did you say that word? What was it? Nickelback. <laughs> no, don't say it again. <laughs> oh, he said the word. Oh, he said his photograph. Every time. Okay, who's going? Who, okay, who's, oh shit, did we skip you, Alex? For... We did, but that's okay. Do you want me just no, to say? 
My, you just want me to say my opinion on them? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. We'll, we'll start. Suck, yeah. Okay, I love Nickelback, but I do think that they are very overrated. Yeah. <laughs> I like a few of their songs, but honestly, I'm not about it. Wait, you said they're overrated? I, yes, I think that Nickelback is overrated, but I still love them. Like, I can still get down with them. Like, all right, Ethan. <laughs> Overrated or underrated? <laughs> Leaves Discord. <laughs> Don't even want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, you ask me? Yeah. Oh, I think my connection kind of was funky there. Uh, um, no, Chris was yelling and or laughing in the room and nobody heard him except me through the wall. Sorry. So. Ah, okay. Ooh. Now, now you have Alex who says that she loves Nickelback, and then there's me who just oh, oh, and there's oh. one rock band that really grinds my gears. Nickelback. It's Nickelback. Nickelback. So you're saying that's they're overrated? Hilarious. Okay, I'm not oh, necessarily saying they're overrated because. I mean, honestly, not a lot of people like them. Right. But I'm not saying they're underrated because they really don't have that good of music. So uh, Okay, I understand what you're saying. So I really can't tell you if they're overrated or underrated. I'd say more overrated, just, I don't know. I just feel like they're overrated in the fact that, like, they're on everyone. It seems like they're on everyone's rock playlist, regardless. Like not on my uh, no, not on Ethan's, but there's an exception to the rule. But like, I even have a Nickelback song on my rock list. So like, I I just feel like they're on everyone's rock list. All right, next. Hunter, overrated, underrated Nickelback. Um. Are you awake? <laughs> uh, I'm just, I don't know. Like, I like a few of their songs, but. Eh. I'm probably gonna be the only person that says it. I'm oh married. boy. You're saying overrated, Hunter? Underrated. Underra oh, okay, I'll be the second person that says it. I feel like they're underrated. Right. The only, I, I'm not saying I like every fucking Nickelback song, I could tolerate some of their songs. The only reason, and this is the sole reason, that I feel like they're underrated is people hate just to hate. I, I, I do. I, I can see that. And I do think they have some gem, like some hidden gems in their discography that are like, they're fucking bangers. And it's like, if people focused on this song more than they focused on that song, now maybe they'd appreciate it more. I but... also want to speak of this. Like, I, I, look, I look really deep in the music, and I think... I don't even know who the singer is. But I think he actually has a very decent voice. Oh, Chad Kroger? He does have a good voice. Because I can't sing worse shit, I'll be honest. But, like, singing is still an art to me. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So, I feel like I'm, I'm going to say underrated only because people hate just to hate. That's fair. That's fair. But since we skipped Alex, what's your band? I got a good one, and I already know what I think most of us are going to say, but the oh, Beatles. Oh, my God. I never even thought of saying this. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a good one. All right. Who's... Oh, I guess I go because I'm under you. Um, Oh, boy. This one's tough. I, I, I know. I'm going to say underrated in this time, overrated. Overrated in their time. I can yeah. respect that. I feel that. But then it, it's just so hard for me. What's up, Tox? It's so hard for me to say they're overrated because they were such a. Okay. I guess a, pol yeah, right. a, a political. They were kind of more of a political movement. They were. They were iconic. Yeah. I, so, okay. so to say yeah. overrated in their time, I just it's hard to. I'm not. It's you know so what? hard to I'm say. say I'm underrated. All around, and only because they made what we know today is music. 
I mean, they, they pushed past the limits of, we don't care what you guys think, we're going to sing anyway. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to have to say underrated because people were bashing their music and they still sung. They didn't give a fuck. All right. Okay. And yes, I love the Beatles. Your turn. Your turn, Ethan. I'm passing the torch. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. I, I have to, I mean, kind of, mm, I have to agree with Chris on this, honestly. Damn. Like I said, I don't like the Beatles, but I definitely respect them for what they did with music. Yeah, okay. Son of a bitch. So I'd, say, so I'd say underrated, for sure. Tokes, and you also are watching our gameplay that we were uh, earlier. Mm -hmm. This is everything that I was recording the whole time, so. It is muted, though, but. Yeah, I definitely. Right. That was a good one. All right, Hunter, your turn. Um, I feel like I'm going to go with your opinion. I don't think you really listen to the Beatles, though. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I never really. And, well, that makes I mean, sense. I mean, right there just describes it. Underrated. People don't listen to them. Underrated. True. I mean, I've, I've tried listening to them, and I just, I just, so. And I'm pretty sure they actually made the song Helter Skelter. They did. They were the original they singers. So, all right. All right. Uh, I guess Alex. it's my turn to voice my opinion. No. Tokes even say underrated. All right. Go on, Alex. I think the Beatles were underrated when they came out. And I think now they're slightly overrated. Just slightly, though. Like, not on a grand scale of, like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I feel like... You feel like everyone, people are trying know. to bring it back too, like, too much. And it's becoming, like... Maybe. And I love the, well, okay, I don't love the Beatles, but I do enjoy their music. I think they're just slightly overrated now. I mean, I can respect that 100%. Because, well, and I feel like if you talk to people that have listened to the Beatles, Ethan excluded, most of them are like, oh my God, I love the Beatles. And, like, okay, you gotta also think of the people that say, oh, I love the Beatles, but don't really listen to them. They just say, yeah, they love them. Because, yeah. yeah. like, I'll be honest, I don't. I haven't heard every song of theirs. I've heard enough to know that I do love the Beatles. But like, you have enough, yeah. But like, when you talk to some people who only listen to like one or two songs, they like the idea <laughs> of the Beatles. You know, kind of like Ethan. You know, they respect what they did to the music. Right. And that's why they they love. So I mean, I I can see what you're saying though. I can see what you're saying one hundred percent. One hundred percent. All right. I think that's a good one. All right, Ethan. I'm ready for this one. Oh this boy. is going to be a good one. Oh, boy. And uh, chat, just oh. remember, you guys can jump in anytime you want to. If you want a band uh, you want us to talk about, we'll talk about it if we have enough knowledge. All right, Ethan. Mm. I'm so excited. Corn. Ooh. Corn. Oh. That's a good one. I'll I'll start it out. I think they're overrated now, but they were severely underrated in the nineties. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not gonna clap. I'm just gonna wait. Because their music just over time has become more centralized towards pop pop music. So it's it's like it's I just don't like it. But when they started, and I mean they are the godfathers of new metal. So, in my opinion. So you're saying overrated now, underrated back then? Yeah. All right. What do you think, Hunter? Same way, honestly, because I just, yeah, they're beats. <laughs> they're beats. Like, <laughs> back then. Yeah, but now it's kind of just... Eh. Yeah, because like back then, me and Hunter would yeah. actually listen to this shit all the time. I thought I thought the same thing back then. I was like, damn, these guys aren't like huge. They really aren't. Alright, Alex, what's your opinion? I'm going to 
I pretty well agree with Ethan. I, I do think they were ahead of their time when they came out as far as how they, I guess, how they produced music and how, how their sound. But I can definitely see why someone would say they're a little overrated now. I got one for you guys. Hold on. Oh, boy. We're going to take turns. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm going to say the same thing. And not just because I'm agreeing with Ethan. But, because, like, before, when I used to listen to them, they, they just sound different than they do now. Like, it's not, I don't know how to word it. I know which I, I know their sound. Their sound just isn't the same. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's too Definitely. poppy now, in my opinion. Now, in their defense, though, they didn't they lose a member or two or something like head. They lost head. Yeah, like I, they did lose a lot of their original sound. Probably when I don't know. Okay. When head became a devout Christian. Well, that's the thing. Though. Yeah, I mean. You still gotta fill that void. I'm sorry to say this, yeah. but um, ACDC did. They lost their singer. Uh, yeah, and they did a very damn good job of replacing. They did him. better. Yeah, I agree. But that's what I'm. I don't know. I mean, I can see what you're saying there, but like, I'm not saying you can't always replace somebody though. Like, there's no way. Like, D David from Disturbed, you're not gonna replace him. You're not gonna. Replace. Right, you're not gonna replace Surge either. There's no way. They're 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 a once in a lifetime. You're not. You're definitely time. not gonna replace Ozzy's sound. But oh hell no. Ozzy but like sound. that's that's a type of like I don't know. You have to try somewhere. Even if you have to change a little bit, you don't have to change much. Oh my god, I have so many bands that we can go through on this game. Like I have just ideas popping in my head. Right. This might be a this might be a fucking part three. Yeah. All right, Hunter, you're up, you're up now. You said you had a good one. And it's your turn. So. What, Hunter? Uh, Marilyn Manson. What the fuck did you Marilyn say? Marilyn Manson. What? Marilyn Manson. Oh. You know, I was gonna bring him up, but then I decided against it, but. Hey, we're moving on. No, I'm just kidding. Ah! I was gonna say, what the fuck, bro? Marilyn, oh, I guess Marilyn Manson. Yeah. Alex, you're up. Okay, I think I think Marilyn Manson. Everything that's happened in the past week aside regarding him, I think he's severely underrated. Yeah. Because of the, I guess the shock culture that comes with it, like. Really? I mean, I can. <sighs> I just, I don't know. I feel like people associate him with evil shit. And he's got re some really good stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're going to say, I mean, say underrated all around? Uh, uh, definitely underrated when he came out. For sure underrated when he was a thing back in the 90s. Because people hated him. Absolutely despised the man. Okay. I'm going to say underrated back then, overrated now. Okay. And that judgment's based off of, yes, everyone hated him back then. But now, like... He's a little more accepted now. Well, yes and no. I mean, there's still people that's not going to... Don't like him. But I mean, like... And I, I'm not saying like Eminem helped him, but like other singers took notice of all this. Yeah, and they kind and of it, helped him. I mean, him. Eminem, like when Columbine happened, he was yeah, he was defending. Yeah, he was defending him, so that helped. Like that helped. Yeah, Seeing that, like another I, I artist agree. defend that, people started being like, "Oh, well, maybe his songs aren't that and, bad." And then, I mean, he maybe, dropped some I, badass album. Yes, he and did. I think part of that is the fact that uh, like the artists defending him were the fact that because Eminem defended him, and we know how Eminem gets shit on from the media and all that. So it's like yeah, he he understood. He kind of relates. He could relate to it. Yeah. So see, especially seeing Eminem, like he's got a huge fan base. I think his fan base is oh yeah way bigger than Marilyn Manson. So for him to defend that, yeah, like that was big back then. 
Like, yeah, it was. Like, I don't want to say his fan base is bigger. Like now, I don't know about now, but like back then, I think we got equal. I think back then, Eminem's fan base was, I say, a lot bigger than Marilyn Manson's. Oh no, I'm sure now Eminem's fan base is bigger than Marilyn Manson's, but <laughs> after what the fuck just happened? I don't know. I don't know. It might be. I think it might be about equal now. Honestly, you still think it's well, about equal? I don't. Have you heard the news about Marilyn Manson or or no, Ethan? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've I've heard about it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I agree. I think it might be equal about now, but back then, there was no chance. So when Eminem stuck up for him, 100%. It was like, whoa, like... Like, I don't know. I, I definitely I definitely think he's a little overrated now. But I can, I can see why someone would say that. But I'm not saying he's bad. Like, uh, when I say overrated, I'm not saying, like, man, I would go to, obviously go to any of his concerts. I'm just saying, like, I just... I just feel like he's a little overrated just because of all the I, I feel good like and bad I'm media. Not... But back then, 100% over, underrated. All right, Ethan. Hmm. No, excluding what you just said, Chris, I'd say he is... I think he's... I don't know. I think he's underrated all around. Because... His recent albums have actually been pretty good. In my, like, been, I like them a lot. They've been banger. Yeah. I, I can agree. Like his the, the Pale Emperor, that that's a great album in my opinion. That's one of his best ones to me. Yeah, the only reason I'm saying he's overrated was because of most of the drama that was like. Yeah, this and I get that. Years, that's, then, that's why yeah. I'm kind of excluding that from. I'm just you know going off of all the music he's created and it's just like <clears throat> when he started he was definitely underrated just because you know the christians absolutely despised him oh yeah because he was like a devil but, like, but then he started getting a huge ass fan base and it's like oh <laughs> i think i think in terms of the rock genre he's overrated but overall like if you put every genre in a bowl together i still think he's underrated if that made sense. Well, he's an artist, yeah. without a doubt. He, he is probably, yes. he's probably one of my favorite artists. And by artist, uh, he, I mean, like, all-around artist. All-around, yeah. He has he has some very interesting ideas that are... Yes, he does. Get... Yeah, I, I definitely... All right, Hunter. Underrated, overrated. Mm, I'm going with your opinion on this one. <coughs> like, I'll explain it. Hunter, you don't have to explain anything. You can just say underrated or overrated. I don't think you look into music like we do, unless it's like little pump or some gay shit. No, I, <laughs> get I got some good ones. Well, you're up next, so uh, fire away. Oh, we're not skipping. Chris, Chris is gonna love this. Go on, Eminem. Oh. All right, well, so like you picked. The wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I gotta be, I definitely gotta be in the room for this because I, I, it's one of <laughs> M M Megan's favorites. Oh <laughs> boy. Yep. No, go away. <laughs> Can't believe she don't like it. All right, well, you guys are gonna love what I gotta say about this. This is gonna be it's wonderful. Not Gee, I wonder what Chris is gonna say. It might shock us all. Underrated back no. then, overrated now. Oh my god, yes, that's exactly what I was gonna say. The only reason is because he does portray a huge image to the world. And I will say, like, some of his music is very vulgar. However, he will always be my number one rapper. Okay, that's, you know what? But overrated to the sense where he can be overrated. I feel that. Kind of like... You can't you, step on his toes. You cannot offend you, you, him in any way. Like, that is an artist. You, you ask someone their top ten favorite rappers of all time, most people are probably going to have Eminem on. Like... Well, yeah. Except Megan. Except Megan. <laughs> yeah, but she don't, she don't know real rap. That's the problem. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Because oh. <laughs> there's a difference between hip hop and rap. I'm going to say it. Okay. Okay, yeah. You, you got a point. I didn't ask. And it, I'm, and I'm sorry, it, yeah. Eminem's the king of both hip hop and rap because he's an artist. Yeah, he's got, you can't yeah, rap battle some... this guy. You just can't. Like, he literally just dissed Snoop Dogg in such a slight, like, easy ass fucking tone that, like, Snoop Dogg's not gonna. What's Snoop Dogg? Snoop Dogg's gonna not say anything to this. He's gonna just say, well, that was a weak ass line, but guess what? Snoop, he's Snoop not gonna Dogg's do not a gonna rap. rap. He's not gonna fucking take the bait because he knows he's gonna get slaughtered by Eminem. It's just plain yep. and simple. They were in the same studio he together. He's not gonna do it. He's not dumb enough. He ain't a, he's not, I was gonna say, he's smart enough to know not to do it. He just watched MGK's career, rap career, get buried. Like Yeah, he literally had to swap fucking genres. Like, let's be honest here. Which, which I'm glad because I actually like MGK more now. I agree, of, yeah. I like his rock. I like his rock. That's, didn't he do what? Did, didn't, wasn't he singing rock from before, though? Before I think he, he started as a rock artist. Like rock, hi uh, rock hip hop or some shit. It's called rock. Yeah, rock. I think you're right. His older stuff's definitely got some rock influence in but it. Now, but now he's like a Blink 182. Yeah, and uh, I kind of like that. So. I'm going to be honest. I just don't Which, like I mean, voice. he has. That's fair. I mean. Of course, I say that because he does have Travis Barker as a drummer. Oh, yeah, that is true. Hello, Alex, Chris, and Hunter. <laughs> oh, my land. Who's, who's dying? Not us. Uh, <laughs> me. Who's farting? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we took over your room. Uh, oh, I guess it's Ethan's turn. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. For Eminem? Yep. Mm. I am whatever you say I am. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's mom's turn. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, ask your mom. Underrated or overrated? <laughs> oh. Well, she has to think about it. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. Mom says overrated. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, oh. You say over and under at the same time. Like, oh, no. oh, it's today. today. How do you think? Like, that song today. No, no, no. No, I mean, like, the rapper Eminem. Him, him oh. today. Has he put anything out like recently? He has. He put a whole album out. He just out. put out a whole album of this track. Then, so. then he's probably underrated. Oh, about shit. It. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Take answer. that, Megan. And, I like and like, I like to think that I know a little bit about music. I mean, I don't know a lot about like the newer music. But she didn't even I know him. Mean, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'd like to think that I would have known that he put something new out. Because I've always kind of liked him. So, she's got a point. Anyway, she's got a point. A lot of people don't know she, she does have a point. drops albums like he does. Does he drop a lot of albums? He she's dropped like two or three in the last like two years. Two in the past three ten years. in the last two years, yeah. So like, are they successful or just like? Yeah. They're pretty successful, I'd they say. Pretty, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure they almost hit huh. platinum already. Huh. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> So underrated for me. <laughs> All right. Okay. She made a good point. She made a good point. Oh my God, Hunter, turn down your fucking volume. <laughs> okay. Good night. God bless. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here. I'm actually looking it up. So wait, did you say uh did you say your opinion, Ethan? Oh, I didn't say anything yet. Um I don't know. Definitely underrated now. Back then though, I'm not even sure. Well, I, I can I can understand that. A lot of people didn't really listen to him back then either. I yeah. definitely like mom's point of view on that. Like she didn't even know that he dropped an album and like that's like, oh. Are we that's gonna, a good we're gonna 
Yeah. yeah. Oh. I don't think he's ever been overrated. <laughs> okay. So you think he's always been an underrated? Well, no. No. Okay. I think for a while he was like where he sh- where he should We should add we should add a I neutral. That. We should add a neutral. I I feel that. Yeah, neutral. So he was like rated, like you're overrated, you're underrated, or you're rated. So for a while, I feel like he was rated, like back in the early 2000s when he was like first putting out his music. I feel like people really appreciated him, and his music was popular. Well, popular, both good and bad. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, yeah, but I mean, like popular for some good, some good reasons. Like he was, he was pretty good. He put out some good shit. Let me just say, there's not like, one Eminem song that I'd skip. Are you saying that? That's fair. Yeah, like it really is. Like, I like that song that he did with Rihanna. What was that? Which one? <laughs> which one? Yeah, that is. Oh, that, which one? I, I kind of like that song. I thought that was like a really heavy video. That's fair. Love, I guess. Yeah, love, you, love the way you die or whatever. Lie. L- love the way you lie. Love the way you lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's there. It, Todd's like, what the hell are you guys doing? It's their, it's their, it's their podcast. Podcast. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm into this podcast tonight. Oh boy! <laughs> now, they're like, now I want to go listen to Eminem. <laughs> Same though. Same. So I'm gonna go do my taxes now because I have to have money. Eminem. Hey, I have to have money to go to Hawaii. Whatever. Ouch. <laughs> It's Mondays so, with Murdoch so featuring we, Mom. Can we can let's yeah. start adding a neutral? Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. like I would I would actually change my my opinion on that to neutral. Oh yeah. Like, I don't I don't Mom think he's actually point. overrated. I just I feel like he's always been He's always been where he he's needs on to the be. right track. He's on the right track. So we're gonna add neutral and for that, being but I still said, believe he's still. I might even change the Marilyn Manson one to neutral as well. Neutral. Yeah, yeah. And then I don't think I don't think any of the people we've talked about yet. I uh, Eminem maybe would be the only exception. I don't think there's anyone we've talked about that I think are neutral for me. I still am holding fast to my opinions on all the artists that we have talked about, except Eminem. I might stay neutral on Eminem. All right, Hunter. Babe, I hear you talking over in the room, but I don't hear. Oh, Hunter, your turn. Neutral. Yeah, I feel like we're all neutral on Eminem. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Whose was that? That was Alex's. That was mine. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let me look at my. Li- okay, I got a good one. Here we go. Oh boy. Aerosmith. Oh. Aerosmith. Okay. Not talk. I told you I was going to think of one that was never really talked about. That's actually a really good, good one. Whose turn is it? Uh, it'll be, My turn? Uh, it'll no. be Ethan's turn. Yeah. Oh, this one's Another tough. band I don't like. Oh, wow. Let's see how it is. Aerosmith. Oh, okay. Aerosmith. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Aerosmith. Aerosmith. <laughs> Aerosmith. <laughs> Mom, go get on the Twitch stream and watch. <laughs> the old shit was really good. But a lot of Aerosmith has been really overplayed. Oh, that's fair. Damn, me and your mama have the same, uh... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say I'm neutral in this because I've, I, like, I'm with. I obviously agree with mom. They play a lot of their popular stuff way too much. And then um, I, I never hear "Love in an Elevator" again in my life. I'll be perfectly fine. Yeah. But if somebody told me that I could never hear "Toys in the Attic" again, I'd, I'd be like, uh, I really need to hear that song again. So yeah. Um. 
Yeah, I'll stick with Nature because I've never really actually listened to their music. Oh, that's per fair. Se. You listen to their old stuff. Well, I've listened to Toys in the Attic. Yeah. But... yeah old stuff. And either, even their Pump album is good, which Love on an Elevator is on that. Hmm. There's a song called, um, oh, I forget what it's called, but it's really good. It's fucked up. All right, well, but what, about, uh, what about Dream On? That was a big song. It, it Dream One's okay. I mean, yeah, it's, a little, I it's a little overplayed, but I, I will say that I like I like his high note in that, obviously, because that's, like that's impressive. Like but what? But yeah. Yeah, and he, Steve and Tyler got a little weird. Like, has anybody seen his feet? Uh, no, because I'm not. Oh, I'm not looking at people. Yeah, feet. I'm no, at Goof, I'm telling you. I swear to God. Go, can you can you guys Google stuff right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Google Steven Tyler's feet. Oh my god. Do it right Steve now. Heard it. Do it. Do it. Come on. What Steven in the Tyler's heck? Images. What in what the world? The hell? I don't want to look at that again. <laughs> what? I'm Jeez, so like lost. his feet. <laughs> you Steven oh. Tyler's feet I'm about to... images i am I so he has the most he has the most fucked up celebrity feet i've ever seen <laughs> that is that is podcast idea look at celebrity feet got you look at celebrity feet right, i will see, not partake in that one I, if we do I one i do like i do like his their song angel i think that's underplayed my opinion <laughs> Really <laughs> I'm Twitch and watch it. <laughs> really? You think I can see? Looking straight in front of you, stupid. Your, rea- your guys' reaction is I don't want to search. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody found Stephen Tyler's feet yet? Oh, yeah. Yes, it's, it's weird. weird. But... It reminds me They're of Stephen gross, Hawking's okay. hands. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. But yeah, but one of them's still alive, though. So that's disturbing. Man. I don't know. An argument could be made if Steven Tyler is alive or not. All right, but like, well, I say if, if Ron Woods is still alive, Steven Tyler's still alive. Oh, that's true. That's fair. Oh fuck. All right. I'm really gonna go do my taxes now, so <laughs> I might print something. That was funny. Oh, okay. That was funny. All right, so where were we? My... I don't even. Oh, well, I guess, talking I guess about was, yeah, yeah, I guess it was Ethan's turn. I don't know. Did you, you? I don't even know if you said it yet. I I I said like I don't know neutral. All neutral, neutral. Or because like I said, I don't really listen to them, so it's it's kind of had hard to have an opinion on a band I don't listen yeah, to. Yeah, and, and that's that's why um it's it's all good. Because I I told Alex same thing. We we're gonna have a lot of bands we probably haven't even listened to. All right, all right, Hunter. Neutral because I haven't really listened to them. Hey, that's a lie. You listen to them a lot at my house. But... <laughs> all right, Alex, your turn. I think they were underrated when they came out. I think they became very overrated. And now I'm starting to think they're a little more underrated than they were, like, I don't know, like a decade ago. I feel like they've gone back to the underrated. I can feel that. I can understand that. Because, okay, because, like, Hunter and Ethan have definitely heard their music, but they even both just admitted that they don't really listen to them. So, like, I, I feel like... That gives me a clue that maybe they're a lot more underrated than they used to be. Yeah, yeah, I can see what you're saying. I'm going to say they were... Oh, man, this is tough. This is a tough one for me. I listen to them. I used to listen yeah. to them quite a bit. Same. I'm going to say they were overrated back then, underrated now. Oh, okay. That's an interesting take. Well, because... Which I guess I can... I got I, I like I said I, I think deeply into things so like I'm thinking like school dances and shit like that shit had to have been played yes, all the true. fucking time yeah. but like like certain songs are like I don't want to miss a thing I, I mean that's a huge ass fucking song 
and I feel like yeah. it was overplayed back then. Now, maybe not. There was a lot. It was in a yeah, lot of I'm movies. Right. I feel like a song that might have been underrated was uh, the song Angel. I fucking love his voice in that because he's like, he's high and low in that. Right. And just the way he sings, I don't know, just the way he sings that song. I, I love it. I actually used to sing that shit to Zoe all the time. Fun fact. Huh? Um, but I just feel like a song like that might be a little underrated. So I'm, I'm just going to have to say underrated now, overrated back then. Okay. And that was my choice, right, Aerosmith? Yeah, because I just went last. So that means it's Ethan's turn to pick a band. Oh, boy. Hmm. 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 Let's do... All right. Slipknot. Oh, okay. All right, Hunter, you're up. Wait, did you hear me? Uh, Hunter, you're up. Wait, what is it? Slipknot. Um. Mm. <laughs> um. I, I definitely like their older stuff. Uh. Would you say they're they did they just yeah okay didn't they just release an album or a couple new songs? Yeah. Yeah. Not, not too yeah. long ago, yeah. It was like I, uh two years ago. No, no, they released a song yes, uh, last year, uh, twenty twenty one, or twenty twenty. Yesterday. No, seriously, they released. I mean, okay, well, wait, there's Hunter's fucking answer right there. Should be. I don't even know if they released a song last year. Yeah. Oh, you you're referring to, um, fuck, what's the? I look it up. Yeah, I'm trying to find it too now. Now I'm curious. Was it last year? Or the year? Was it Slipknot though? Fuck. No, I don't think it was because their recent album was 2019, and their their last single was 2018. Yeah, I see that now. I'm like, I'm thinking yeah. of a different band. See, fuck, I think. Okay, all right, now my answer. <laughs> Is it my turn? Yeah, we'll skip Hunter because he don't know shit. I ah. think overall Slipknot is neutral. Like, I feel like they're right where they should be. But I think in terms of the rock genre, I think they're a little overrated. Wow. I just, I don't know. Like, I just can't, like... <laughs> Uh, Slipknot comes on like my hard rock playlist, and some days I'm like, oh yeah, like, banger. And sometimes I'm like, I don't want to listen to Slipknot today because I just can't. I can't do it. So I feel like they're slightly overrated just in the terms of their own genre. Overall, I think they're they're where they should be. <laughs> I'm going to say it's another good band. Um, this was a good band. I'm gonna say underrated overall. Like, <coughs> and my reasoning behind now that is because, yes, I listen to them a lot. For me to skip a song for them, I feel like it's okay because I listen to them a lot. Okay, that's fair. So, like, when you when you said that you you have to like skip some of their songs, I I can get that, but at the same time. Like, I just feel like they're underrated. Like, you personally could skip a song, but how many other people don't really know or right. listen to them because of, um, and here's here's the number one key, the way they dress. A lot of people... Their style. A lot of people are not going to listen to styles of songs like, uh, like theirs because of the way they look. And I think it's mm -hmm. a little bit bullshit because I think Slipknot has probably one of the best albums in so all oh, I was just about to say that. I was so just about to fucking say that. I know thinking, exactly which one it is, too. You're thinking like Marilyn Manson, but in a band. Yeah. 
Like they see like uh, everyone dressed like that. They're not. They're not gonna want to sit there and listen to that. Me, on the other hand, you know, I, I can I can listen to an artist all day long. I don't care what you look like. Right. Yeah, and to me, whenever I see their the the way they're dressed, it adds a, a interesting like an aspect yes. to it. Yeah, it, it makes me curious to what kind of music they produce. That that's fair. So I, I'm just saying, underrated overall. Even now, back okay. on it doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, Ethan, you're up. Okay. What album was I thinking about, by the way? Iowa. Okay, yep, you're good. <laughs> I was making sure you remember who all I was. <laughs> all right, all right. So, I think today they're a little bit overrated, but back then when they started, severely underrated. Okay. Yeah. How often do you hear a band that produces metal music, but their lead singer is rapping? How often That's does that happen? Fair. Okay, that's fair. It's a good point. And I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell like, okay, I'm like you, Chris. Only, I don't skip any of their music. If if a if a Slipknot song comes on from their first or second album, I do not skip it ever. I'm not saying I, I skip it all the time, but like if I'm just in the yeah, mood, I, I'm I, like, I get what you're saying though. Album, but if I'm in the mood for yeah, battle, yeah, there's not a chance I skip <laughs> Slipknot. There's not a oh yeah. Cause I don't, I don't me, make me playlists too. anymore. I just kind of hit my like songs and, well. Yeah, that's kind of what I do, a lot. But, um. See, and I their most maybe... underrated album is oh, definitely Iowa. Definitely Iowa. What was you gonna say, Alex? I was gonna say the whole aspect that Ethan said, like it's. If he put the playlist on and Slipknot comes on, he won't skip it. That's how I am with Corn. Like, if a Corn song comes on, I listen to it because I fucking love them. Oh, which uh, what I'm saying, I'm not. I'm not saying that's true for all their music. I'm, I mean, like, I'd right. skip a lot of their newer stuff just because I don't like their new sound. But like yeah, I said, their, I like their first two sound. albums, oh, I will. Yeah, there's a most. Of... I agree. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Like spit it out. Yeah. I'm not skipping that song. Left behind. I'm oh not, no, I'm no, not no. That song. no, no, no. Oh, but yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Some of their new, like Devil and I, I will skip that. I'll skip it. Really? I fucking love that song. That is one Slipknot song I won't skip over. I'm not saying it's bad though. Yeah, I'll, and Psychosocial. I'll, I'll skip all. I have to be in the mood for that one. Oh, God, that's I, but I ever played Psychosocial, no, no, no. and it was ever played in, in our high school. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um. Yeah, but definitely Iowa is definitely a very underrated album from them. Just because, well, even when it came out, it came out like two weeks before 9-11 happened. And the album was so underlooked. Yeah, that's fair. Which, which 9-11 really helped some bands, but it really didn't Destroyed help. Destroyed some them. others, yeah. Yeah. But now, eventually, Iowa got the people's eyes and everyone was like, oh, damn, this is actually a pretty good album. But, uh, but... System of a Down, over. System of a Down yeah. released Toxicity right before 9/11. It every that album blew up because it's of 9/11. Well, okay, and I mean I know we already talked about Marilyn Manson, but if we're gonna talk about like underrated songs and shit, I feel like mm -hmm. uh, the fight song from Marilyn Manson is a little underrated. Okay, I feel like that song. That's a good song. That song is great. That's a good song. I think as as semi overplayed as it was, as far as Marilyn Manson goes, I am whatever you say I am. I think that's one of the most underrated songs because it's like, I, I guess because I related to it growing up, like as a teenager, I was like, fuck yeah, fuck you guys. Like, I'm going to be who I am. Fuck you guys. I can see that. But like the fight song, like you don't ever really hear that song. And, and, no. and nowadays you're definitely not going to hear it. Back oh, then, I, I felt like it was, I don't know. But the fight song was fucking, the video to that, I think, is amazing, too. Fuck. Oh, okay, um, I take back what I said about, I mean, I like the Pale Emperor, but I actually meant to say the one after that for Marilyn Manson. It was Heaven Upside Down. Oh, that my album God. Is, is my favorite album from Marilyn Manson. And that came out to 2017. Yeah, um, I think I played, 
Alex, I played that one a lot, didn't I? I think so, yeah. Because uh, we went to the concert when? Mm hmm. And that's it was, um, it's, a, it's a white it album either... cover, right? Kind of? Yeah. Yep, that's the it's... one. That is a, yes, I know exactly which one you're talking about now. Yeah. Heaven, Has like yeah. Kill for Me and Kill for oh, yeah, Me. Yeah, that is a good one. That is a good fucking album. Jesus Crisis, like that was a fucking great song. Uh, yeah. Is that the one with Say Ten, Say Ten on it? Say Ten. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Okay. I like um. I think it's Satranella because the beat changes in the middle of it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Do you see what I mean? There's a, there's a lot of great songs off of that, and that's a new album for him. So like, he's still significant in some way. Yeah, Hunter. If you like what? Marilyn Manson, that's a good song. Uh, that's a good album for you. What, what is it? Heaven Upside Down. Heaven Upside Down. All right. Let's do uh, one more round here. We're at uh, an hour 19. So let's do one more round here. Hunter, pick a band. Uh, pick a you band, can even, right. uh, you don't even have to pick a band. You can pick a, even a, just a singer. I know you're like into rap. So, I mean, fuck, pick a rap. Uh, just, yeah, just freaking just pick someone. Uh, I'm going to pick a different, different style this time. I'm not sticking to. Yeah, give me one second. Half half his stuff though we might not have listened to. <laughs> oh, oh man, if we were if we were doing a, another Kick another cutter. round, well you can do two more. It's up to you guys. I'm cool. I mean we're at an hour twenty, so I mean I can make this. The last one was close to two hours. Kid Cuddy. Kid Cuddy. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, let's do two more. The rounds. Fuck? Kid Cuddy. Um, I know you heard one of his songs. You had to. Yeah. Is it my turn? I'm gonna say yes, yes. Go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I've only heard a few of his songs, and the songs that I have heard were like bangers. <coughs> so I'm gonna say he's probably underrated. I still think he's underrated to this day. Well, I guess, I guess he left. Who? <laughs> Ethan. Ah! No, I had to. I don't know. It does this every once in a while. I'll like cut off on the end. Hunter, name, uh, no. name name one of your favorite songs so I can make sure I've actually heard him. Me? Yeah. Mm. Uh, d day and night. Day and night. Oh, day and night. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my viewer, my viewer says King Cuddy is definitely underrated. Listen to Tequila Shots by him. And I'm actually going to say underrated because I, I, you play him a lot at my house now. now I, <laughs> I'm going to say yeah. underrated all around. Definitely, definitely underrated all around. And Ethan, if you want to skip this one, because I don't know if you even know Kid Cudi. Uh, I've only heard that one song from him, Day and Night. And that's, Day and that's Night. <laughs> because that's an older song, too, which, isn't it? That is an which old, I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah, which I'll admit, that's a pretty good song. So Have you heard uh, King Wizard? Yeah, see, none of these names, like, you don't have to, like, sing it to me. What, this song? Don't play it. Whatever you do, don't play. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know I heard him a lot. I just don't know. Like I, I'm not a person that remembers song names all the time. Mona King Wizard. Yeah, yeah, you played that one before. Yeah, I'm sticking to my answer. <laughs> he's definitely underrated. I think he's underrated. Yeah, I, I know he's got some good music out there. I know I heard him quite a bit. Hunter. My viewer says King Wizard it goes hard. Like mm -hmm. I love King Wizard. All right, so Alex's turn. Okay. Oh, okay. We're gonna totally switch up. Freaking destroy me for this. <laughs> Kenny Chesney. Overrated. I'm supposed to go, so I'm gonna say overrated. I feel like he's 100% overrated. Wait, what was okay. it? Kenny Chesney. 
I'm not saying I don't, I don't like his music. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying okay, that yeah. I feel like he's definitely overrated. Because okay. isn't he the one that wears a white cowboy hat? Yeah, he's known to wear his white cowboy hat, yeah. Yeah, he stole that shit. Stole that shit from uh, Garth Brooks. Or no, Garth Brooks had the black one. Who the fuck? Uh, Randy Travis. He always wore the white one. <laughs> My viewer agrees. Overrated. Yeah, he's just overrated all around. I feel like I already know Ethan's answer on this one. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't listen to him, so it's. Okay. I mean, I I don't like new country. I think it's all overrated, but you know. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I agree. Shit, I forgot to write down the bands we did after Aerosmith. Uh, Slipknot, we did Slipknot. Who else did we do? I think, well, I don't know, we went on a big tangent about Slipknot and yeah. Hunter, your turn. Over or under? Or... Oh, shit. Uh, I've never really listened to him, so. Yes, yeah, you okay. have. Don't even. You definitely have, Hunter, but. I don't listen to him, like, a lot. That's what I mean. You're in the fucking car with your truck with your dad, guarantee you heard him. Especially mine. Fleetwood yeah. Mac, Young Woo? Damn, my viewer's giving me all. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you got? Wait, who what did you. you Alex, you just went. It's my turn, I guess. Oh, I didn't say if I thought he was over or under. Oh, yeah. My bad. Hunter's taking forever. I, uh, okay, y'all know I love me my Kenny Chesney. He's the only country singer I can really listen to. But I do think he's overrated. He's definitely on everybody's top 10 favorite country stars because he's so popular. Except so, mine. Yeah. Well, I'll go Randy Travis before I go Kenny. He's definitely my favorite, but I can still respect the fact that he's a little overrated. So... All right. Okay, next. I guess it's my turn. Hmm. Let's switch up genres here, and we'll go... Oh, my. That's a good one. Bob Dylan. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Nah. Wait, wait, who? Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to pick a pass for this one, too. I don't listen to him, so... Damn. Hunter, I already know you. He makes good whiskey. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> he makes damn good whiskey. <laughs> What'd you say? Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Hey, you guys have been in my house. You definitely heard him quite a bit. Uh, I'm just gonna get a new charm this one. All right, Alex. I'm gonna have to go with neutral as well. Oh my. God. God, are you fucking serious? Well, can I pick a I pick something I think, that a lot of people don't really listen to? I think I think Bob Dylan, I don't know. I think he did a lot. Like he's like the Beatles. He did a lot for the music industry, and I respect that. So I think that he was always right where he should have been. Okay, you guys ready for my answer? Oh boy. I feel no like one. he's underrated now, and he was slightly to maybe neutral, I would say, overly okay. rated back then. And that's because, again, Bob Dylan was one of them guys that did, um, he, he was a little, uh, I guess you could say political. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and if you guys don't really listen to him, I, I suggest a very good song. And this is this is why I am going to say neutral for back then is he did a song called Hurricane. And oh, you guys should yeah. definitely listen to it because he was your rock version or folk or however you guys wanted to classify him. I classify him as fucking Bob Dylan. I don't he made all kinds he of genres. Genre. To me. Yeah, he made his own genre to me. But I'm gonna say he was your your version or your I guess I don't know how to word it. He was a 
old version of Eminem. That song is a very true story. And he sung about it would... in justice of the guy in the song. That's a very interesting take. I've never heard someone compare Bob Dylan to Eminem before. Well, because the only reason... I'm not, like, comparing them. I'm saying that Eminem was the type of person that... He, he talks or and raps about modern day issues in his time. Okay. So Bob okay. Dylan did the same thing. And maybe that's where, you know, some of the singers got it from. Like, hey, this guy, he's taking his shit serious. He's singing about what he really cares about, like NWA did. But I just feel like Bob Dylan was neutral back then because he was singing for a purpose. And a lot of people couldn't get away with that. But he was one of the, he was one of the ones that could get away with it because his music was really good, and is okay. is really good. That's the best way I, I can describe him. Um, I fucking love him, and I don't think he was underrated back then, um, solely because he was all over the media. I mean, they, he, was. he was one of the ones that even once wanted uh, weed legalized and everything. I mean, he was, a lot of interviewers were, they didn't want to interview him because he was such a. He was so outspoken. Yeah, he didn't give a fuck what anyone said. And that's what I love about Bob Dylan. Okay. That's why I can describe it. I love my Bob Dylan. He does make some damn good whiskey. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. And he's the original singer of Knockin' on Heaven's Door. So fuck you, Guns N' Roses. Young Woo, we do, we do these podcasts oh, on Monday. Monday. Yeah. Um, we're really enjoying doing this. Usually we only do certain things, but we made a game out of it this week. So we do this every Monday at 9. Monday's with Murdoch, baby. <laughs> All right. All right. Your turn, Ethan. Mm. All right. All right. Queen. Queen. Queen? I love Queen. Oh my All god, right, Ethan Hunter. just opened up a can of or... <laughs> Go for it, Hunter. I fucking love Queen. <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. Honestly. <sighs> Queen. I don't I'm really... about to I'm about to make either make some friends or make some enemies. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Honestly, neutral on this one because I, I. You don't know much about them, or like you just feel like. No, I, I just feel like. I don't know. Explain it. <laughs> You're always neutral. I, really I get it. <laughs> I just I like Queen a lot. I do. I like their music. All right, Alex. I think Queen. When they came out, might have been a little under. Think that they have been where they need to be to this day. I feel like Queen has been just where they need to be. I don't think they're overrated, and I don't think they're underrated. I think they're perfect. You biased son of a bitch. You're so biased. That's the problem. This is not <laughs> supposed to be biased. I'm going to no. say, and this is going to hurt everyone's fucking feelings, yep. but they're underrated back then and overrated ever since. <laughs> overrated ever since. I don't, I love some of their songs, but God damn, it's overrated. Thank you, this is the same man that tried to tell me that Bon Jovi was better than Queen, and I'm like, what? What? <laughs> No, I said Bon Jovi's better than Prince, and that would raise question too. No, you said Queen because we had a fight about the. Yes, and I. Uh, no, no, we had it about Prince because I got Queen and Prince confused. Oh, okay, maybe that's what it was then. But Queen is overrated. Wow. Underrated when they started, and then overrated ever since. Sorry, <sighs> not sorry. 
My viewer says you're bugging. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, <laughs> I ain't biased. Uh, no, I, I, see where, I see where Chris is coming from. I, I'm um, not biased when it comes to music. I'm not <laughs> saying I don't like Queen. I'm just saying it's overplayed, and it was overplayed. Somebody get somebody get Mama right. in on this. <laughs> All right. All right. So. Oh, boy. I'm kind of like where Chris is with this. Definitely underrated when they started and shit like that. But they became overrated because their music got played so goddamn exactly. much. Exactly. It just fair, made them fair. It, it was just overplayed now, in so many ways. Oh, yeah. Like, you can't go to a fucking football or hockey game or anything like that without hearing one of Queen's songs. And, and that's just like, for sure. That's for it's sure. really annoying to me because they have better music than what their popular stuff was. Okay, you gotta listen I like to like that. You gotta listen to their like somebody to love, it's a great song, but yes. there is better music than that album. I, okay, <laughs> and I, I can definitely I can agree with that logic. And that's why I don't listen to them. I honestly quit listening to them because I feel like they're always overplayed and I just I played football for 13 years, and Ethan is 100% right. Queen was played at every home game ever. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And it probably still is. <laughs> yep. And there's another band. And I, I, I don't want to bring another band into this, but ACDC was an, is another band that oh is played at every don't fucking home game. This is another band. Don't get me started on ACDC. But that's why I'm saying it's overrated. And thank you, Ethan. I thought I was going to be the only one, bro. <laughs> I thought, nope. I, I thought Definitely everyone not. was going to hate me, and now they're just going to hate both of us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this together. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was a good band, though. That no, was, yeah, but, that but like, actually you, was a you, really good one. You can you cannot say that Freddie Mercury is not one of the greatest singers of all time. Like, oh, I'm not. He, he is. He is, he is the greatest singer of all time. Well, you need to chill. Sorry. Like, that man had... <laughs> Sass. You need to chill he with was, the greatest singer of all time now. He was a fucking. He was a queen, and he knew it. Like, and, and when when you look into it, he had some of the best vocal control that yes. any artist has ever had. Like, yes. he knew when not to sing high notes. Like, if he was not feeling well, he'd be like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna sing high notes," but he'll still sound this. like a fucking diva. Dude. I don't know, yeah. man. I think Whitney Houston would beat him. Oh man, I don't know. I think she's overrated, but that's, no, no, her. See, that's why I never say I never say the greatest. I never say he's the greatest. I always say he's one of the greatest because they're you. It, it's I'm saying it's impossible to, to, to say she, she's another one that can hit the like she she was one of the first ones to sing the national anthem in like an opera style, and you know yeah. how hard that song is to sing, and she made it look like it was easy, <laughs> like whoo. <laughs> that's just me. That's just. I'd say Whitney Houston I get, could be like, and, you know, like, like I said, you'll never hear me say that this singer's the greatest singer. Well, because I have my opinion on who I think the greatest singer right. of all time. But yeah, exactly. that's not because singer, you can singers hit... is a very, a very hard topic to talk about. Like, if yeah, we know guitar, and it's then, not... we, then we can understand. Yeah, I... but it. I will die on the hill that Freddie Mercury is the greatest singer to ever live. I will die on that hill. See, that's the that thing. Hill. Like, you gotta think of different vocals. See, like with a guitar, it's a it's an instrument. You gotta be able to play it. Not everyone can sing. Yeah. Right, and I, yeah, but he could. Like. <laughs> but um, well, but like to me, like I said, you you shouldn't. It shouldn't be about hitting the high notes for me. Like to that's me, fair. I think I think. For me, it's Lane Stanley. Lane Stanley is my absolute favorite singer. I like him better than any of those other people. Because he had such great vocal control, but he could sound he sounded so raw when he did it. Right, he had so much emotion behind his vocals. Um he's the lead singer of Alice in Chains. Okay, was the lead well, singer of Alice in Chains. You don't have to go any further. Okay. And can we just say for the record, Alice in Chains most underrated bands ever. I'm going to agree. I think yeah, they, I don't would. even have to. We don't even have to cycle through yeah. that one. Though. We we don't even need Mom's opinion for that one. We know yeah. she'd say underrated. Yeah. Agreed. Yes. <laughs> but but it's it's because there's one band that everyone always talks about from the grunge era, but they're they're kind of overrated except for their hey. first album, which yes. is uh, Nirvana. 
I agree Nirvana with had that. one good album, and that's it. <laughs> they only recorded one good album before. Never mind. <laughs> hey, now, chill. Yeah. All right, we got time for one more round. Hunter, pick a band. Guns and Roses. Oh, oh my God. It's my turn, right? Yep. One of the most overrated bands of all yeah, time. Played way too much. Oh, oh, okay. I thought Nickelback made me throw up in my mouth. I think I was puking on the floor. Okay. Guns and Roses made me puke on the floor. Like, well, okay, yeah, oh. but let's be honest, Alex, you've heard them just too much. I'm talking about general public here. <laughs> and again, I'm not a biased person. I try not to be anyway. So, Alex, what are you going to say? Underrated. Absolutely. I think they were underrated when they came out, and they were underrated to this day. Underrated Guns N' Roses? Or overrated. I'm going to say, you just I was like, wait overrated. a second. Overrated. <laughs> my bad. My bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Well, you guys might not like what I have to say. Oh, God. I feel like they were neutral in the day and I feel like they're a little underrated and that's only because they have some really good songs that a lot of people don't actually listen to yeah which I do give them credit there are some songs that I've heard that were Guns N' Roses I'm like whoa wait a minute well, I, showed you, I showed you a couple and you were like wait who is this and, yeah. and like I listen to their underrated songs. I don't listen to like Welcome to the Jungle. I feel like that's an overrated. Welcome what? to the Jungle. However, I, I think it's I'm overrated not... only because it's overplayed. Just like Queen. Here's yeah, okay, like... here's my opinion on Guns N' Roses. I'm not gonna go out of my way to listen to them. If they happen to be like if I'm out somewhere and they come on and I don't have any power to change it. Okay, whatever, but I'm not going like they're not on any of my playlists. Like I just don't like them. And I'm gonna say like knocking on heaven's door, that might be a little overrated because not everyone understood that Bob Dylan sung that first. However, yeah. I'm not saying that song was horrible. I actually like their version because I, I respect it. I still rather listen to Bob Dylan's version. Yeah, I I love I love it when artists try to like they do covers of songs because it's just it's not really them trying to be better than the person they're just they love the song so much exactly, why not do it exactly. yeah but like sweet pantera did it with a black sabbath song you wouldn't expect them oh to, yeah, well, in, yeah in fact it was planet caravan that they you wouldn't expect pantera to do that song in particular because yeah. it's such a slow song compared to what they usually do but it was so fucking good because but both versions are good but like "Sweet Child of Mine," I I feel like that's a neutral song to me. But his 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 voice in that, his dynamic, like Axl Rose's voice in that, I just I don't know, man. I feel like it was pretty good. But yeah, this is dynamic. No, I'll I'm just saying it's neutral. I'm not saying it was overplayed or underplayed. Yeah, yeah. It was neutral because of, I just feel like it was a good song where there was a lot of dynamic. I don't feel like. Like, not everyone's going to sit there and say, oh, yeah, Sweet Child of Mine is my favorite fucking Guns N' Roses. I've They're going to say, Welcome to the Jungle. Heard it. Yeah, that's Or Knock yeah, on absolutely. Heaven's Door. It's true. Yeah. Mine, however, is it's a toss up between two. It's called Don't Cry and Civil War. Those are my two favorite songs from Guns N' Roses. <gasps> Live and Let Die would be a hard three. And well, I just give me a, give me a, give me a second here, and I'll tell you if I had to choose a Guns N' Roses song, like an overplayed one. Let me look at some of their songs. Well, another overplayed one is Paradise City. I can just name that off right away. Oh. Well, you, you already know my opinion about. See, and I band. feel like Paradise City might be the one that I picked. Ramsey. I don't know. Yeah, I just feel like they're neutral back then. I feel like they were in a, a decent position. They had a good singer until he like went a wall. I don't know what the fuck he did. Some weird, weird yeah, shit. Yeah, Axel. Ro okay, we want to talk about Freddie Mercury being a queen. Fucking Axel Rose is a drama queen. Like, 
But like I said, I, I just know. feel like they're. I don't know. I feel like they're just uh, a little I'm... underrated, be- just because of the overplayed songs. But like they, everyone misses. Like yeah. they don't. They don't a listen of... to other songs of Guns N' Roses. They listen to two or three of them. The yeah, same two or three of them. For me, it's like it's more along the lines of I don't listen to that kind of rock music pretty much. That's fair. So like, I think it's overrated, but that's because, like Chris said, it's just their overplayed songs that I always hear. And you gotta admit, Slash is pretty good. Like, Sl- okay, yeah. Slash is their defining feature. I think Slash is amazing. And and Axel, he can hit some. He can hit some good notes. That's he's what I'm a saying. good like, singer. Sweet, I'm saying he's Child of Mine, I think, is one of his best dynamic like sounds yeah but i just i don't know i just can't i can't get into them and patience like when you listen to like fucking welcome to the jungle when he's like singing hard and then you listen to patience it's like wait what this is the same singer yeah he can switch between a ballad and a rock song like but definitely definitely i think we all can Move on. I think, uh, what is that? Did I say Guns N' Roses? No, it was Hunters. Oh, it was Hunters. Oh, damn. Wow, we're we still on Hunters? Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, Alex, your turn. <sighs> oh, man. I got a, a, a bunch of ideas here. Uh, let's just stick on, like, the Guns N' Roses trend here. Let's say Motley Crue. Oh, my. My God, and I gotta go first on this one. Fuck me. Yep. Uh, dude, this one's tough. This is gonna be wonderful. I might be surprised at what I say though. Like I, I, I feel uh, I'm gonna say overall. I'm not even gonna give a uh, time. I think overall, underrated. Okay. And that's because I've heard a lot of Molly Crew. But growing up, I've heard more ACDC, uh, more Led okay. Zeppelin, more um, Def Leppard than Motley Crue. Okay. I feel like overall, just underrated. Not, not played a lot. Final answer. Okay. All right, Ethan. Hold up, I just I just gotta like Alright, alright. My problem is, is I don't like this genre of rock music. Oh, I yeah, really it, don't. It, it this is not in a hair band. We're we're into hair metal and hair rock, and I just like no, no, get that no. away from me. I I do not like I don't like that kind of That's fair. rock. So like, I'm not saying they're overrated or underrated. I'm just saying neutral for this because I, okay. like I, I just I just can't no. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. All right, Hunter. I already said mine. Oh, you said what? Underrated or overrated? Yeah, underrated. All right, Alex. Let's hear it. Okay, I think when they first came out, I think that they were underrated, turned overrated really quick. But I think now they're one of the most underrated because of ACDC, because of Guns N' Roses. People think hair metal. For some reason, people don't think Motley Crue. Well, yeah, because, and I'm going to say it, most of ACDC and Guns N' Roses have been overplayed, but that's what everyone remembers because it was a bigger song and i think i think molly crew some of molly crew stuff has been overplayed but i still feel like when it comes on people are like oh my god yes the crew for some reason (laughs) except ethan (laughs) which i i i mean um i don't really listen to all this shit either anymore again i did barely even heard molly crew like, Molly Crew was a band that didn't give a fuck. Like, they, I don't know. They sang about dr- doing drugs, which I know a lot of bands do that, but. Not anymore. Fuck yeah. 
All right, all right, all right. I can see it. I can see it. All right, you guys ready for mine? Oh boy. Let's hear it. We're gonna give this one to Ethan. This is gonna be a good one. God smack. Oh. All right, Ethan. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, underrated for their early shit because they, they were. Oh my god, they produce so many good albums. Oh yeah. Okay. Back in the day. Now though, mm, I mean, I don't listen to them a lot anymore, but I don't like their newer stuff. I like their older stuff. Okay. But you put on a song from their first album, their self-titled, and then Awake, uh, I'm most likely going to listen to it. I, I feel that. I can respect that. I can respect that. Yes, we're talking about Godsmack. Dude, dude, horrible. <laughs> dude, horrible. Ex yeah, except that song. I'll skip that one. What, dude? Yeah. 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 That song was overly played. That one, okay, that one is one of their more overplayed. Yeah, I don't even really like <laughs> it that much. You guys would be surprised when you hear my favorite song is that one. But people like it because it's different. It is yeah, different. That's true. We'll that's give them true. that. It is different. My favorite song from them, though, mm, ooh, it's definitely from the first one. It's probably Time Bomb. All right, Hunter. Hmm. Ever rated, underrated? Hunter? I like, uh, uh I stand on What was you saying? Is she still here? Yeah. Are they underrated or overrated? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on. Alex. <laughs> um I think I think they were underrated when a little overrated, but like not a whole lot. Like maybe like watch overrated. And I feel like now they're like probably a little underrated now but i also haven't listened to their new stuff either so they might i don't know that could be a toss-up for me but i definitely think they were a, a little overrated at one point and then they quickly went back down like i don't feel like their their streak of being overrated lasted very long i feel like Back in a day, overrated. Okay. Or underrated, sorry. Underrated. Today, probably neutral. I think that's kind of just... Okay. I don't hear much about them, but I also don't think they produce what they used to. So I just feel like they're neutral nowadays. Okay. I definitely agree with that. Like... One of my favorite songs from them is uh, Rocky Mountain Way. Okay. And that's just because I love to drink to it. And that's kind of a, you know, that's a decently good drinking song. Because, you know, you think of, uh, I used to drink Coors Light all the time. Rocky Mountains. I mean, I used a part of that song all the fucking time. But well, that's, I don't know, I just feel like they were underrated back then, because I'm like Ethan, they have some damn good albums. They have some damn good songs back then. Oh, it's yeah. just, now, like nowadays, world. I feel like they're just neutral. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Ethan, last one. Make it a Ooh. good one. Oh, 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 this is tough. This is tough, because there's like... There's so many I could say, but yes. I don't know which one to say. Same. I still have a huge list. Same. I, I could go on for a while here. Right, while I'm looking for one, though, I will mention, to me, a very it's an underrated band. I'm sure like no one here has ever heard of them. They probably heard their most popular song, but um, the band Hum, <laughs> oh. very, under, very underrated band. They had their one hit, which was... Uh, the fuck was it stars but their other shit is just as good as that song huh 
So if you ever want to listen to an underrated band, that's a good oh. one. Okay. H U M M or just H U M? Just H U M. There you go. Might you have to look into that. If you're even in this far. <laughs> and they're uh <laughs> they look like a bunch of nerds that started a rock band. Oh and my it... <laughs> god, I'm already in love with them. <laughs> Alex don't know. What? Don't know. Okay. I'm just saying. Alright, Ethan, let's hear it. Alright. All right, I, I got to go with one of my favorite, my my boys, my boys, System of a Down. I knew it was coming. I knew it was, knew it was coming. Grand can finale. We all, can, we all, can we just all agree on underrated? <laughs> Not yet. Damn. All right, Hunter. System of a Down. Underrated, overrated. This one's tough. I can hear him thinking. I can hear the fucking fire whistles going off. Maybe he fell asleep. Uh, I feel like underrated. You feel like System of a Down's underrated? Oh, uh, I don't know. I just, I like their older stuff better than their newer stuff. Uh, Oof. Oof. All right, Alex. I think System of a Down is underrated because I feel like you bring them up and people are like, I don't know System of a Down. It's like, you definitely know System of a Down. <laughs> You've heard Chop Stewie. I know you have. It has, it has, it has over a billion heard. views on YouTube. There is yeah. no way you have not heard it yet. <laughs> all right. I just, I feel like they're underrated, like, all around. Me not? And the fact Go ahead. The fact they they sing about and I feel like this has something to do with it. It's like Bob Dylan. It's it's kind of like Bob Dylan. How political <laughs> they are. I can agree. I can agree, and I can also disagree. Oh boy. Ethan, I love you. Just hear me out. <laughs> I feel when they first came oh. out, definitely underrated. One hundred percent. Underrated. Heard, heard that, heard that. Heard I, that I agree, hundred yeah. percent. Mid, their first album yes. is their best album. Mid, hands down. I don't, I don't know how to word it. Mid, like season, I guess. <laughs> Midway through. They're so, like steal this album and, and passed. I feel like they were a little. Well, I would say up to probably toxicity. I feel like okay, a little so, bit of that. So any album after their first album. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they were a little overrated at that point. Nowadays, underrated. I think I could get on that oh, yeah. because I I could BYOB was overplayed. I love the song to death. Really I does. would not skip it all the time. I've heard that song too many times. I'm gonna have to say midway through. Maybe got a little overrated. And I don't then. feel like yes, they are political. One hundred percent. I will agree with that. However. They're not as political as Bob Dylan was, and not as political as Eminem, because well, I feel because like they're with underrated. System of a Down, I feel like with System of a Down, they were political media too. I I get what you're saying, Chris, because like the news never talked about yes. System of a Down. Yes, that's fair. I yeah. get what you're because, saying because you like you said Bob Dylan was always on the news, and then you have Eminem. Marilyn Manson. Eminem always on the news. Marilyn Manson. But System of a Down, you never heard the music brought up. And that's because that's I feel like even though they might have been overrated with their music, they were still underrated. I, just, I can't say neutral either because like BYOB was overplayed. Violent Pornography was overplayed. However, I love that song. So yes, I will still play that song over and over. That's, that's, okay, that's, that's hilarious because Violent Pornography, I didn't hear that until like two years ago. Like that was a I'd ever heard and that's that what song. I'm saying. Like, I, I just don't feel like I can't say neutral just because some of their other songs was ever played. But like, man, I love the album Hypnotize. Jesus Christ! Oh my God, Hypnotize is the song that got me into them. But I also feel like uh, I don't. I don't even want to say prison song. What was a uh, what the hell was that one song? Sing it for us. <laughs> Yeah, I know we'll it. Figure, we'll figure it out. 
Uh, I can't even think of the lyrics right now. Um, Psycho? Are you thinking of Psycho? Oh, no. Yes, that song. Yep, that's it. That's it. Okay, okay. That that was a little overplayed. It's a great song, but it's just I feel like they were overrated and then went underrated. But not I don't I don't, don't want to say they went overrated for too long though either. Kind of like what I said with Godsmack, like they were overrated for it's, like a few, like maybe a year or two, and then it was like they just because they still have amazing oh, songs. Like oh, okay, it's not one of them bands oh, I'm gonna skip. Okay, but th that kind of can go back. Okay, since you said they're overrated, I kind of go back to what I said about how the album came out around nine eleven. So it was like everyone needed that outlet, and yes. System of a Down was there. So. That album obviously got popular really fast. Yeah. And then I, I, a lot of the music got overplayed from it. I can agree with that. So I hope you guys can respect my opinion. <laughs> oh, no, I get what you're saying. Like, I definitely get what you're saying. Again, would I skip one of their songs? Probably not. Hell no. <laughs> Again, it has to depend on what it is. Like, BYOB, I've heard so many times. I could skip that song. That that would be the song I would skip, but yeah. I still n really never skip it. <laughs> yeah, like especially it's one of them songs. If I'm drinking to it, oh hell no, I ain't skipping BYOB for ever. But like if I'm just yeah. not in the mood for that song because it's been overplayed in my like my generation, right. I'm I'm skipping. It. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I ain't skipping another song. That's the only song I would actually probably skip. I can agree with that. Well, like yesterday, we listened to Lonely Lonely Day twice. Oh my god, I love that song. Soldier Side's underrated, in my opinion. Yes, agreed. Oh, that's a great song. That is a really good song. Ooh. Ariel's is uh, right. underrated, in my opinion. Oh, yes. Um... Even a twa is underrated in my opinion. Yeah, I say a twa is pretty yeah. underrated too. That, that one's a good song. You don't get a hug. I, don't, I don't even know, like. But but we got my favorite song on the Toxicity album, "Fucking Deer Dance." That song, the beginning, is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, Ethan, let's end it. Overrated, underrated. Ooh, I, you you know my opinion. Okay. I'd say definitely underrated. Their first album, by far their best album. Toxicity was a bit overrated. It was like the gateway into... Yeah. And then they kind of went underrated again. Damn. So basically what Chris said. I'm, me, I'm me and Ethan are first. fucking amazing. That's all I gotta say. We know our fucking shit. Now... now Okay, they were underrated when they started, and then the Toxicity album, like I said, made them overrated. But their third album, they're definitely, that is their most underrated album. That yeah. album had some good-ass songs on it, it. It was almost like the Toxicity album was their one-hit wonder album, and then, like, they just... Again. I, can, I can see what you mean. I can see what you yeah. mean. Yeah, because, like, you look at Steal This Album, the <sighs> only song that they that like people would know would be the I E A I A I O. I -A -I -A. But any of their other songs on that album, it's just like never heard of it. Right, yeah. And their best song from that album is definitely Fuck the System. That's just Oh my god, that's, that's such a good song. And it, it it can relate so much to today. So I, well, I feel like that's why they're still underrated. Is that their music aged very well? And I don't think like when people think of political music, like the, I don't know, System of a Down seems to like it's never brought up, and it aged so well with time. See now, okay, this is, this is my opinion on that album, Mr. Jack. Oh, okay, God. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should have known. Oh, yeah, that's your favorite song by System of a Down. Bro, <laughs> Alex literally Wait, played what? this a millisecond, and I just stared her down when she skipped it. Which Wait, which album are we talking about? Feel this album, Alex. <laughs> it's the one okay, that's literally like an album. Like an album has an album cover. Or a CD, I guess. It's a CD, right? A CD. 
Alex literally played this shit for a oh my God. fucking millisecond. Chris, Chris, I want you to look at what the, the songs are and tell me which one is my favorite song. On... Yeah, I already know it. It's probably I already chicken, fucking know chicken, it. chicken it's... stew. It's yep. chicken stew, yep. I, mean, I already know. Fucking other French right here! I have to look at the album. I know my system of a doubt. Maybe not as good as Eden, but I still know my system of a doubt. Chicken stew. <laughs> I yeah, you could song. you could do any of their songs. I'll be like, yeah, it's on this album. <laughs> but yeah, I I don't know. I just feel like, like I said, Mister Mister Jack's definitely one of the underrated. It, Inner Vision, Inner Vision was a good one too. But best favorite fucking song on their first album, Suggestions. That song is so fucking good. I have to look at their first album. Surge's yeah, Surge's not- vocals in that are just oh my god. I'm looking, I'm looking it up right now, cause. <laughs> Is it untitled demo? No, what? it's the system of a down. Oh, it's just not titled. Oh, this is such Un- a good untitled album. demo is untitled untitled demo is what came up on uh, steal this album, I believe. That's that's a lot of the music they wrote for toxicity, and then they never produced it. So they were like, oh, let's just make another album with it. I like Sugar. I do like Sugar, and I like Sweet. Is that, is that on the first one, Sugar? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Spiders is a good one. Spiders is a very underrated song because it's slowed down. And it's like, Serge's voice in that one is so good. Oh, so it's the one with a hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I see. Oh, that. my God. Did- the devil, the devil is another good one too. I thought War was pretty good. Oh yeah, that's a good one. My favorite one there is gonna be Sugar. Sugar is <laughs> a really good one. Hunter, what are you doing? But oh, Sugar. But you, but you, you know why they they made a made it a metal band out of themselves? Because they thought, you know, all these people are trying to talk about this political shit and no one wants to listen to them. So we're going to make a metal band that will scream about it instead yes. to bring attention to it. I it love worked. it. It did. <sighs> it definitely worked. Their fucking Toxicity album, how many, I don't remember how many times platinum it is, but it's definitely a platinum, at yeah. least. <laughs> yeah, um, when that dropped in stores, I bought it right away. Like that's the time. Like I didn't have an MP3 player or anything. You had to go buy CDs. I'm one of them people that had to go buy CDs. And just like, like I said, Toxicity. It starts out amazing. Prison song is such a great way to start out an album because then it like opens your eyes. Like, oh, this this album's gonna be uh, pretty political. (laughs) <laughs> oh, speaking of that, we talked about that yesterday. Let's end this fucking podcast on a very good note. I actually talked about Prison Song yesterday, and I asked Hunter as we were drinking, I said, did you ever try, it was, this is Guy Talk, everybody, so chillax, all right? Everyone needs to relax here. But have you ever tried to have sex with a beat of a song? Prison Song is one of them hardest songs to have sex with with a beat, all right? <laughs> Now, just hear me out. Like, when it goes, boom, you got pause. You got pause right there. You got pause for a second. Pause and then sex is hard. But then you go, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, okay. But the the best part is, you don't tell your woman you're trying to have sex for the beat of the song. So when you pause midway, she's just like, what are you doing? (laughs) Wait a minute. You know, so, like... Prison song is so hard to do that, and I also said the number two song, the number second song, it's really hard to have sex to with a beat, is uh, Master of Puppets. Oh, okay. Oh, another another good one would be Deer Dance. That'd be a good song to try and have sex to. <laughs> oh my god! Just the beginning. Just the beginning. I said, I said, literally, you're gonna have to like stand to do this. Like, there's no way. You're going to have to stand up. (laughs) Yeah. But, like, this this is kind of funny because, like, now we can make a podcast number three out of what songs is it hard to have sex with with a beat. Oh, my God. I'll see you guys. (laughs) I'll see everybody, hopefully, next Monday at 9 
We don't know the topic yet, so if you have a topic, drop it in the comments. Drop it in the Discord if you're in there. Don't be afraid. And I will see you guys next fucking Monday.